EPA and WA Meteorology is Bobby Martich here with your outlook for the weekend, January 2nd and 3rd, 2021. Hope everybody had a fantastic holiday. We are now back in the normal swing of things uh, with the videos on time and no days off. So that should be going for a while now. I uh, also will have the long range outlook, which is going to be a very interesting long range outlook. Uh, we'll have that out later this morning. Okay, so look for that. Uh, something you want to pay attention to, actually. We've got some really juicy stuff in that. Uh, but uh, it's, it's actually coming out today a day late. We usually have that on Fridays. Uh, but because of the holiday, Christmas, and New Year's falling on on Friday this year, we get, get pushed back a day. So today's the last day that everything's going to be out of sync. Once we get to tomorrow, everything's normal schedule. Okay, so this is the system that came through overnight. And uh, we had some freezing rain to contend with across our central and northern areas last evening. Uh, some areas changed over to rain. Uh, it took longer to change over to rain in far northeastern areas. But this morning here, this system's pulling into the Gulf of Maine. So we'll just have a leftover shower in a few spots very early this morning. And then clouds are going to decrease. We're going to have clouds giving way to sun uh, here for, uh, for later on Saturday. Okay. Now, our next system is going to be coming quickly on its heels. So we're going to have clouds increase again overnight, late in the overnight. Now, I'm going to get back to this in a second. Actually, yeah, let's get back to that in a second. Here is the leftover shower chance uh, that can still occur here. This is looking at 6 a.m., but after this point, it kind of goes away, and then you have clouds giving way to sun. And now we're going to stop right here because this is the next chance coming in. This is 7 a.m. on Sunday. So I'm going to go back to the global models here, just show what we're dealing with. So this is looking like it's going to come in mainly during the afternoon. Okay, you have two different systems that are going to provide some precipitation. You have an upper level low sitting out here. You have a surface low down here. And uh, both are going to be moving parallel to each other. They're not going to be interacting. They're going to stay separate. They're going to be moving in this general direction like this. All right, so you're going to be, they're going to stay separate. So we're going to be in between in the middle here. So the upper level low, which is out here, is going to be supplying a little, just enough cold air injecting into this system to give you uh, some, some um, you know, some snow. In, in far interior areas, and again, in the middle, you have a mix again, and then rain showers farther southeast. Because these two are staying separate, though, and they're not going to be interacting with each other, it's going to remain a weak system. So I don't want to give anybody the impression that we're going to get this big storm or just going to trend into a big storm. Not happening. This is just a uh, a lighter event. It's, it's light snow. It's light freezing rain. It's uh, light rain that we're dealing with here. This is not a uh, heavy system by any means. Uh, but you can see what it does here, and then on the, uh, as, as the coastal low takes over, up below a little still sitting back here by Erie, uh, or actually, yeah, right over Erie, uh, while the uh, surface low is down here. So you get some snow as that upper level low moves across Pennsylvania, and this system here offshore, uh, you know, goes over the it goes over the benchmark. So here is the uh, lighter precipitation we're expecting. This is a light snow in the interior, and then that is going to pull away as we get into uh, the evening hours on, on Sunday, probably late evening. And this is going to come, this is going to stay around for a little bit, and it'll be done certainly by uh, by Monday morning. So any morning clouds on Sunday will give, or on Monday, I'm sorry, any morning clouds Monday will give way to sun, uh, much like we're going to be dealing with today, okay? Uh, so now here is the high-res future simulator radar from the NAM, and then we're looking at uh, the first batch is going to be with the developing coastal low. This is all upper-level low related out here. When the two get close enough together, you're going to have all this fill in in here. I don't think it happens till the afternoon for most areas. Southeastern areas are going to be getting into some rain, maybe some freezing rain just northwest of Philadelphia here. But look what happens when you get the afternoon. You get this little uh, this scattered activity popping up. And you got in the middle here, you know, southeast PA, all the way up to about the Lehigh Valley here and back to Harrisburg, you have some light freezing rain. Uh, further to the north, you have some uh, some snow showers. Okay, and this is this goes on through the the entire afternoon here. Here's looking at uh, late. This is getting into the evening now. You still have the same mix in the middle here, nearest I-78, north of I-78 by a little bit here. I would get north of the Blue Ridge. You got some you get snow up here. Okay, snow and snow showers, and then rain uh, farther south and east, closest to the Philadelphia uh, area. As we get into the overnight, though, as we get to the evening and overnight, some of this freezing rain and rain here is going to change over to snow before it ends, it looks like. And you can see that here. And that's before it ends late in the overnight. So it's going to be kind of like after midnight, 12 to 3 a.m. type thing. This pulls away. So it's not a lot of snow here that's going to be accumulating because, again, it's just snow showers and light snow. But here's what the NAM is suggesting, 3-kilometer NAM, and it's where, it's where the axis of snow is. 
So it's basically along I-78 and points north here. Actually, along I-78, you're basically like coding to an inch, maybe isolated higher than that. But your concentration of, of any uh, accumulating snow here is following the elevations, and it looks like uh, you get a 1 to 3, 2 to 4 inch snowfall out of this. So not, you know, not bad, modest, whatever. But you got some snow out of here, a little sneaky snow in an otherwise very, uh, otherwise mild pattern. And this is not a very good pattern like we might be dealing with down the road. little spoiler alert there for the long range this morning. But uh, it looks like the European model is doing the same thing. It's kind of keeping lighter amounts in the lower elevations and right along I-78. And then you get up higher uh, higher elevations up here you're getting in that general 1 to 3, 2 to 4 inch range. And that extends into northern New Jersey. So we're going to monitor this closely. It is something we're going to have to put a map out for uh, at some point today. And send alerts for so this is not we can't we have, we send we do maps and send alerts for minor stuff it could be an inch of snow as long as there's accumulating snow we have to send we have to make maps so uh, that so look for that later today even though it's a minor event not a major deal it's still accumulating snow nevertheless so uh, we're going to get past the system here and then most of the work week is going to be dry here we're going to have expecting again morning clouds giving way to sun here on Monday once we get to Tuesday we are. Partly cloudy. Watch a little weak system here trying to come at us on on uh, on Tuesday. We'll keep an eye on that. Looks like uh, might be a passing rain or snow shower with that uh, as we get into later in the afternoon on Tuesday. We'll see. And then once this moves through, we are mostly sunny on Wednesday. We are partly cloudy on Thursday. And then Friday, we're going to watch this system off to our south here. Uh, the, some models are indicating that this might come a little bit further north. And since there's a block up here, it'll, you know, well to the north here, the, that blocking pattern gives me pause to thinking this is going to miss to the southeast. So we'll see. Uh, when you have, or have you have a system moving south like that and you have a block, I mean, that usually means it's going to be trapped and not able to escape out the sea. So we'll keep an eye on that. Right now on the local forecast on Friday, we have just partly cloudy skies, but we have to keep it. And this is actually Friday evening. So it's in that Friday to Saturday time frame, the 9th, 10th, or I'm sorry, 8th, 9th time frame that we're talking about. Uh, let's get past this one on Sunday first, and then we'll have a better look at this one to see what it does. But just don't uh, sleep on this, because this might be something that could creep up and give some more snow here uh, here toward the end of next week or early next weekend. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marcher, so that is the outlook for this weekend, January 2nd and 3rd, 2021. Have a great Saturday and Sunday.